Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I wanted to do just an everyday, this like natural bronze look that I've been doing. It's really like bronzy, perfect for spring and definitely for summertime. I also want to show you a lot of new products from Sephora that I've been loving. So let's get started. I want to show you my full skin prep because sometimes I just go straight to foundation. So I'm going to use this Estee Lauder. This is like an oil control, uh, kind of like a gel moisturizer. And this works really good for oily skin like I have. So I just want to get this everywhere. It has like a cooling effect too. So I repurchased this on the Sephora sale. This is more of like my going out moisturizer. I use my Clinique one like for work or places that I know it's gonna be like really, um, when I want more moisture, but this is good for basically when I don't want as much oil on my skin, like going out, I use this. Okay, eye cream, I use this, what is this called? Banana Bow Eye Cream from Superfruits. This is from Amazon. It has a little bit of brightening to it. And it really keeps my under eyes moisturized, like they never crease from concealer. So I've been using this one for a few years now. And you really wanna make sure your moisturizer is dried. I wait about five minutes and I'll kind of like touch my face to make sure it's dry because it makes a huge difference how your foundation goes on. And now I'm gonna go in with my favorite, the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage. I've used this primer for years, and let me tell you, primer makes the biggest difference. How your foundation goes on and how it lasts throughout the day, I use it every day. Some people say you don't need one, I think you do. And it's good for aging as well. A foundation, I'm going with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I am still loving this one. I've been using it every day. It's like totally replaced. I'm gonna put this on this clear palette. My Dior one. Um, it's full coverage, but goes on really natural. So I haven't found a full coverage one I like, except this one is just really good and wears good throughout the day. Um, my Makeup by Mario, I got a new one on the Sephora sale. I still love this foundation brush. It is so good. So I like to fully coat the brush so it goes on even. And then I like to take it just straight down the face. I'm trying to go like slower too. So I feel like it goes on better. If you can see here, I got totally sunburned. <laughs> I just got back from the Caribbean. It was so amazing. But I'm glad to be back. Yesterday I was in the airport like all day. Oh my gosh, my I missed my connecting flight flight. So it was just like an all day thing. I was like, oh, there is nothing like home after you spend like a whole day in the airport. But yeah, I Applied sunscreen and reapplied. I'm just too white. I still got sunburnt. Next time I need to use my scalp sunscreen. I like to take the smaller end and just kind of like touch up on any areas that are smaller. Okay, I'm gonna take my beauty blender and set my face. Again, I try to go slow. Always set your face after foundation. Makes the biggest difference. Okay, next I'm gonna do brows. I'm gonna use the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I go back and forth between this one and the Precisely My Brow Pencil. But I do feel like this makes my brows look a lot thicker. And then always brush them out. I always try to focus on like the top, 
Kind of about me through the bottom a little bit. Definitely focusing like on the arch here, I feel like makes them look so much better. Favorite brow gel from Benefit, the 24 hour, 24 hour brow setter. This is so quick and easy. It keeps your brows in place and you can also like shape them. I've been trying to like not touch my brows so they grow. It's like, I'm kind of getting used to it. It's like so hard to do. I'm gonna go with the Chanel Universal Cream Bronzer. This has been like a favorite for years. Oh, I wanna use my new brush. This is the Patrick Ta. So good. It's called uh, Four Contour 2. It's so soft and it like kind of snatches your face. Like it's perfect for bronzer. It's like totally replaced my Sigma one. I like this in too. So I'll do like a little nose contour, a little snatched jawline. Take the other end, go down on the neck. Yeah, this brush and it's so soft. It's like crazy soft. So it is a little pricey, but it is worth it. It's just a really good brush okay i'm gonna use the christian dior at uh, forever natural wow can't even talk today <laughs> christian dior natural bronzer i feel like i top all my cream with this and because it's like natural it looks so good just like a really pretty touch to the bronzer i'm gonna use the rare beauty melting cream blush in shade nearly neutral i got a new one on the Sephora sale because I was like reaching pan makeup by Mario brush I just want a little bit here because I want more of the bronzer I feel like this color looks really good with this look so just a little bit okay eye primer I'm gonna use the Mac prep and prime 24 hour extend eye base and I'm gonna go right on the crease I'm not gonna do the lid because I'm doing a cream shadow, so you don't really need a primer for that. But powder, you do. So just rub that in. This is another, I've used this for years. It is the best eye primer in my opinion. It's so good. Okay, eyeshadow, I'm gonna use this bronzer, the NARS Laguna. This is my favorite for bronzer for eyeshadow and then the Sephora uh, crease brush. Right in the crease. Because it's slightly darker, some, something about the tone, I think because it's slightly darker, my other bronzers are not as dark. Yeah, if you don't know what to do for an everyday look, you can always use bronzer. It's just super flattering and, nat and natural, but looks like you've done a lot more than you really have. Okay, for the lid, I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier eyeshadow stick in copper. Look how pretty this color is. This is like the star of the show. It's so pretty. These eyeshadow sticks are so good. They stay on, I've used them for years. I feel like they aren't even talked about enough of how good these are. First off, I love the way it makes your eyes look. Like you can't even see any lines on your eyes. It's like any cream product just goes on better than a powder. Sigma E25, this is the best brush for cream eyeshadow. Make sure there's no fallout. I've been loving these little makeup erasers from Amazon. Uh, it's like a little q-tip with makeup eraser on them so i kind of just make sure there's no fallout okay concealer gonna go in with the giorgio mani i still love this one i know i've used this for a few years but it is so good inner outer corner sometimes i'll do like one little dot here sephora concealer brush 
Yeah, you definitely don't want to do too much concealer. It looks so unnatural and like cakey looking. Okay, set that with my beauty blender. Just do like really light tapping motions. Gonna set that with this Charlotte Tilbury press setting powder. This is another favorite. This Sephora brush is so good for setting powder. Always set your under eyes, it makes like the biggest difference. Kind of just setting the T zone up here. This is great for every day. This is what I use. I do use my Anastasia one for going out, but that one is so natural, but really sets your face. Okay, gonna curl the lashes. Always curl before mascara. I like to do this like pumping motion. This is a new product I've been loving from the Sephora sale. This YSL Brown Mascara. Okay, I, I don't even think I've used brown before, but it is so good. It has a chunky wand, but actually goes on really good. It's just so much better than black. It kind of reminds me when you go, like when you first try brown eyeliner compared to black, and like how much more natural and like better it looks. That's what this reminds me of. And then to be honest, I haven't really done the bottom lashes. Maybe I'll do just like a little bit today. Kind of just feel like you don't really need the bottom lash. But yeah, how good is this brown? Okay. But yeah, how much better does that look? Like I've been using this like every day. I think it looks so much better than black. Okay. Finishing that, I've been loving ColourPop lip liners. This is the shade BFF, which is like a really pretty nude. They're really creamy and set to your lips. I cannot do like dry lip liners. I like to overline just the top and the bottom I've kind of been doing like a fade out like just like I'll show you like not the whole thing but just like a little bit more I think that looks good and like for every day looks really natural now I'm going to use this Chanel this is like a light bronze lip gloss it's like this really pretty uh gold color I think it goes perfect with this look this is 712 it can really be topped on like anything. I always keep this one in my bag. Oh, I have something on my lip. Love that. Just goes with the eyes. Finish it off, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I've been using this every day. When I don't use it, I can tell a huge difference. It sets but adds a little moisture. It's like the perfect amount, especially if you have oily skin, you will love this one. Got my no crease clips. And I'll show you up close how this looks. Ooh. I love this. It's like really bronzy, but like not over the top. Perfect for summertime coming up. Just bronzy and pretty. This cream shadow I love and the lip. So yeah, that does it for this makeup tutorial. I will link any of the products shown today down in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, I hope you subscribe and I will see you soon in my next video.